all my wonderful Cridersville students. This is Mrs. Brown, and I have here with me my dog, Molly. And I'm going to read you a story. As you can see, I'm cozy with my blanket. I'm sitting here petting my dog. So I would encourage you to grab your cozy blanket and grab your pet and sit up here and listen to this story. I'm going to read to you a story called Pig the Pug. It's pretty funny. I thought, well, I'm going to read Pete the Pig the Pug. I'm going to sit here with my dog. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when he was nice, when was he nice to him? I tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble. They're mine. Go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both play together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share. But I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he held from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 so why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days, it's different. I'm happy to say it's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together while pigs on the mend. <laughs> Cute story about a dog and a dog. All right, well, I hope you guys are having a great day and cuddle up and listen to a story. All right, see ya.